friends, what's up? It's April. I'm back and this is gonna be a reading vlog. Becky, come here. Really? So I was gonna start this reading vlog on Monday, but it's now Thursday. <laughs> Had that happen. But it's been a pretty fun week. I mean, it was Christmas yesterday um, and we just celebrated with friends and it was so lovely. And this afternoon, my mum and grandma are coming. Um, they live like 12 hours away and they're driving up um, but my dad is staying home because of the fires that are happening and fires are getting kind of close to where they live but they don't think it's gonna hit them but it's better to be safe than sorry so he's staying behind and then tomorrow we have our like extended family Christmas and then the day after that I have my nephew's second birthday party because it's his birthday tomorrow. So it's going to be a pretty fun rest of the week and it's already been a really nice start to the week even though I've been feeling quite ill, which is just my norm at the moment. So you didn't know, I'm preggers, so morning sickness is a bitch. I'm feeling so much better than I was. Um, if you didn't know, that's pretty much why I took a break. I like was so so ill but it's getting a lot better um some days are better than others it fluctuates throughout the day so at the moment i'm feeling fine but um usually like in the afternoons i start feeling really sick and i have to lie down and it's just really annoying but any hoozle i just finished filming a very belated book haul so i have to put all these books away but i think first i'm gonna eat something because i'm really hungry and then i might start editing the book haul. Also, Luna is so cute right now. Hi, Nuni. Are you taking a nap? Oh, is he comfy there? Are you comfy, my little girl? Oh, what a good girl. Yeah, you're so comfy there. And here's Blackie. Hi, Blackie. He's ignoring me. <sighs> okay, let's eat. Oh yeah, leftover Christmas lunch. The only way to eat a mango. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Two thousand years later. This is what I actually look like. Wow. So I don't even remember the last time I vlogged. I don't even know if I'll include that footage. But it is. I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> what year is it? Friday the 3rd of January. There you go. I am eating a whole ass container of fruit. Because I'm hungry. And I told myself. If you don't film something today, you're gonna have to delete your entire YouTube channel. Because <laughs> I am just finding it so hard to find motivation. I'm exhausted all the time. I'm not feeling well. And it's just hard. Like, I'm not even motivated to read. I just lie here all day moping in my own misery. I mean, like, I'm fine. Everything's good. I just feel physically terrible. And I haven't really been reading. I mean, I say I haven't really been reading, but I guess compared to some people, I have been reading a lot. I don't know. In November, I read eight books. And in December, I read six, which is a very low amount for me. I haven't finished any books in January. And I think not vlogging is hindering how much reading I'm getting done. Also, my hair is so greasy. Ew, why am I a gremlin? <laughs> yeah, because when I'm vlogging, I'm sort of like forcing myself to read more so I have more to talk about. And that's just not happening right now. Really? Mmm. I agree. Do you want some fruit? Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, we're back. We're feeling a little bit better. Um, I got two packages in the mail today. 
So I thought we would unbox them together. And then after that, I will catch you up on what I've been reading. So first we have this package that has an Owlcrate sticker on the back. So I'm assuming it's from Owlcrate. Usually they send along a Christmas card every year, which is so, so sweet of them. But it feels like there's something else in this package. So let's see if I need some scissors. Okay, so first we have, oh, it just says happy holidays from team Alcrate and it has the picture of all of them. That is so cute. So cute. And I love the tartan. I'm a fan. Then, oh, we have some socks with the Alcrate logo all over them. I love these. I wear socks all the time. Not right now because it's the middle of summer, but do you want them? <laughs> but I do love, love, love wearing socks. And these are so cute. Oh, thank you so much, Alcrate. You don't know how much I appreciate you, seriously. And this other one is a book depository package. And I think this is my belated Christmas present from one of my best friends, Kara. I am so excited. If it is uh, what I think it is, I mean, I already know what she's sending me, but if it's her present, it is one of her favorite books of 2019, if not her favorite book of 2019. Actually, no, it's not her favorite book of 2019, but it's up there. So let's open it and find out. This really does not want to work for me. Ugh. Okay, there we go. Okay, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, what a cool bookmark. I don't know if you can see that. Is that focused? I don't even know, but it's cool. So she got me The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Um, I specifically requested the US edition. Um, I do love the UK edition, but I don't know. I just love how simplistic this one is compared to the UK one. And I love, oh my gosh, Under the Dust Jacket is so beautiful. Wow! Oh, and look at the end papers! Oh my god, I nearly dropped it. Oh, thank you so much, Kara. I'm so excited to read this. Oh my gosh! Oh, the excitement is real. Okay, but for now, I need to change my battery because it's flashing at me. And then I will come back and finally catch you up on everything that's been happening. Okay, we're back. So I haven't vlogged in mm, like a month. So last time I was vlogging, I was in the middle of reading The Guinevere Deception and The Rise of Kirishi, and I finished both of these. This one I was loving at first, but as it went on, I liked it less and less. But anyways, I'm not gonna go too into detail because I am going to film a wrap up for the last two months of the year. So I ended up giving this, I think like a three-ish stars. Then I finished The Rise of Kiyoshi and I loved this. Not as much as I was hoping. I was hoping this would be a five star read, but it's more like a four or a 4.5 stars, but I still really enjoyed it. Sorry, Luna is drinking in the background. <laughs> there was a moment in this book that absolutely crushed my heart. And like, I haven't felt that way reading a book for such a long time where like, it just affected me so deeply. So I was like, oh my God. And that was like only like maybe 60 pages into the book or something. And it just broke me. It was crazy. So FCE doing great things. Then I listened to Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. And I loved this way more than I was expecting to. Um, I was reading this in preparation for the film, which I have not seen yet because it only just came out on the first in Australia. Um, but I'm waiting for my friend Brittany to tell me when she's free so we can go see it together. But yeah, I really enjoyed this. I was honestly expecting it to be way more um, religious than it was. And I think that was something that was putting me off reading it for such a long time. But I really, I'm out of breath, oh my gosh. <laughs> I really enjoyed this. I gave it four stars. And then I read the sequel, um, but in some volumes they are combined into one volume. Um, but it's called Good Wives, and I liked that one slightly better than Little Women. So I'd give it like a 4.5 stars. I really, really, really enjoyed those books way more than I was expecting. Then I DNF'd 10 Blind Dates by Ashley Elston, which I borrowed out from the library. I was really enjoying it, um, but I just put it down for personal reasons because the main character's sister 
is pregnant and she's having a lot of issues with her pregnancy that are really really scary for her and her baby and being pregnant I just like it was really hard to read so I just stopped reading it I might pick it up again one day then I read Starsight by Brandon Sanderson this is the sequel to Skyward loved this book so much at first I gave it five stars but it's probably more of like a 4.5 if I'm being really picky but really enjoyed the direction that this took um it's just really really fun and I would die for Doomslug and that's it um then I read Virgins which is the like 0.5 in the Outlander series and I read this because I really want to reread the books in the Outlander series I've already read and then continue on with the series because the fifth season comes out next month and I haven't yet read the fifth book so I'm very behind but it's fine so I wanted to read like all the novellas like every thing that goes into this series so I started off um, with Virgins because on the author's website it has the chronological order you can read everything so virgins was first and it's very short and it was enjoyable but it follows jamie and ian um while they're in france and they find themselves running with a, a band of mercenaries but yeah it was really nice uh seeing young and innocent jamie it's just yeah so cute um, yeah, I gave that like a 3.5 stars. It's nothing like super special. And then the last thing that I read in 2019 slash I DNF'd it and that is Mythos by Stephen Fry. I picked this up when I was really really ill um, and I just wanted to listen to Stephen Fry's voice for some reason um, and I was like oh I might just try Mythos and I got like a couple of hours into it and I was just so bored honestly it was boring and confusing and just didn't really keep my attention I was only really listening to it because his voice was very soothing but I could just like re-listen to Harry Potter you know <laughs> so that is what I have read since my last vlog but I am currently reading A Heart So Fierce and Broken by Bridget Camera. I'm not that far in though I am on page 55 so I do need to get a move on with this and I'm hoping that vlogging will like get me back into the swing of things because I've just been so lazy and just moping around basically so I'm going to read that <sighs> yep oh and I also thought I'd tell you um, what I got for Christmas I was so 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 spoiled for Christmas Lucas got me a Nintendo switch um, but he bought it for me like three weeks before Christmas because it was around the time when my morning sickness was so bad like I was just in bed all day like throwing up feeling miserable and I needed something to like keep my mind off it so he got one for me <laughs> like oh my gosh so thankful I've already finished um Pokemon Shield <laughs> And I have been playing Spyro, which was like my favorite game growing up. So that's honestly been so fun and just I appreciate it so much. It really helped get me through some of the bad days. And my mum got me a new freaking laptop. I can't believe it. Um, my old MacBook Pro is on its way out. The keyboard has stopped working. The trackpad has stopped working, the screen was starting to like flash and like turn off and on randomly and I just knew it was on its last legs and it was not going to last me much longer but what could I do? I can't afford to buy a new laptop and my mum she just, she just bought me one like what the heck? I'm still not over it. <laughs> I'm so goddamn lucky and then my mum got me a bunch of like old editions of Jane Eyre which is really cool one of them was listed um on Gumtree as a second edition but when we got it in the mail the page where like the edition would be like was ripped out which is kind of sus hang on I'll show you what she got me she got me this edition of Jane Eyre 
She got me this edition of Wuthering Heights, which is out of print, so you can't buy it anymore, which is awesome. She got me this super old edition of Treasure Island. Um, I love old books. I have a shelf of old books, and it's just really fun collecting them. And she also got me this complete Charlotte and Emily Bronte novels bind up. And then this is the super old edition of Jane Eyre that my mum got me. Like, it is so old. But it is so cool. But look, it's it's ripped out, which is really weird. But it has a forward by Carabelle, which is her um, alias that she used to write it and get it published. And then she also managed to find this edition. It's only volume one. It's um, split into two volumes. But this is so cool. When, when did this one say it was published? 1939? Look at this, it's so cool. Yeah, I don't know, but anyway, that's super awesome. Oh, and she also got me this blanket, which is currently on my couch thing right now. But it's got books all over it, and it's got a quote on it about book smell, and it's just so, so gorgeous. The cats love sleeping on it. Don't you, Oscar? You love sleeping on it? Yes. So anyways, um, I don't think there's anything else to really update you on that's been happening, but I think I'm going to buckle down and read some more of Heart So Fierce and Broken because when I was reading it, I was reading it so fast. Um, I've just been lazy <laughs> and procrastinating reading for some strange reason. So we're going to stop doing that and we're going to pick up that book and we're gonna read it. I was gonna film videos today, but I was feeling like trash. And I'm only now just starting to feel better, but it's already 5 p.m. and the sun is gonna go down soon. So, I don't know, should I still film it? I don't know. You're so cute. You're so cute. No. <laughs> Ooh, tap of the morning to you. It is Saturday, 11.41 a.m. I have just gotten up and had second breakfast because I tend to wake up early and I'm starving. So I have to eat and then I usually fall back asleep. And then I was feeling really sick. So I took a nap and then I woke up and had second breakfast and now I'm ready to start the day. Also, I'm wearing the same shirt as yesterday. Mind your business. So I've made quite a bit of progress in this book. I have read about a hundred pages since last night. Not since last night, including last night. Uh, and it's really good. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I feel like Bridget Camera is going to pull a Sarah J Mass with this one. I'm not going to go into detail because I don't want to spoil it, but yeah. Also, I really, really like this new character, Leah Mara. I really like her. She kind of reminds me of myself quite a bit. And I'm excited to see where this is going to go. It's a lot more political than the first book. But I am enjoying it. I can't stop going. I'm sorry. Anyways, Kara is going to be home soon and we're probably going to FaceTime and hang out. But today's kind of a sad day because Moon Boots would have turned seven today. Which is very sad. I miss her a lot. But yeah, that's about it. I'm just going to keep reading this book. My goal is to finish this by the end of tomorrow. And then I'll get this vlog up. Hopefully on Monday. But I go back to work next week and I'm really nervous. <laughs> because I'm just... What if I throw up and pee myself? Because every time I throw up, I mean peeing myself. <laughs> Just pregnancy things, you know? Anyway, I don't know why I'm talking about peeing myself to all of you. So, <laughs> I'm gonna go now. Hello. Sorry if you can hear the washing machine in the background, but I'm washing the sheets and getting things done. But um, yesterday, I spent all afternoon on FaceTime with Kara, and during that time, I finished this book. I can't believe it. I feel like I'm getting my mojo back. 
I really did enjoy this book. It's very different from the first book and there are new characters introduced that I absolutely love. Leah Mara is like my new favorite character. I just see a lot of myself in her and it was just really good. I think this series so far is like a solid 4.5 stars. Like it didn't absolutely blow me away or anything. And I'm kind of let down by the ending of this book. The cliffhanger was just kind of like, oh, really? <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoyed it. And then I decided I should probably pick up Strange Grace by Tessa Grattan because I have been reading this book for so long. I don't even remember the last time I picked it up, but I am like a hundred or so pages in. Well, I'm now 136 pages in because I read a few pages last night. And I'm kind of confused because like I don't really remember what's been happening in the book. But I'm just going to like keep on trucking on because I just really cannot be bothered starting this book again. <laughs> so I think uh, while I'm doing washing and stuff, I'm going to try and get as much of this book read as I possibly can today. Maybe even finish it. I don't know. It's kind of unlikely. I've been pretty lazy today. How many pages is this? 387 pages and I'm on page 136. That's not too bad. Like I could probably do it, but I don't know. Also, my sister started a clothing label for both pregnant and non pregnant people but i'm wearing one of the pieces today here's the website with all of the products that are out so far they are so amazing and so comfy but it's just so cool i'm wearing the dress uh -oh. i love it i'm just so proud of my sister like she did that but anyway shameless sister plug go check it out <laughs> but anyway as the day goes on i'm feeling more and more sick which is just great. It is now 3.53. Yeah, I'm definitely not finishing this book today. <laughs> so you know what? Maybe I'll just end this vlog here and we'll start fresh tomorrow. And you'll just have to wait and see if I actually do end up finishing this book in the next vlog that I post. Also, I really need to film videos. Oh my gosh. I should probably do that. <laughs> Anyways, I guess that's going to be it for this weirdly paced reading vlog um i hope you guys enjoyed it but anyways feel free to talk to me in the comments how you doing i hope you're doing good okay that's it see you in the next video Bye.